So in this video, I'm gonna be going through all of these problems. If there's any that stand out to you in particular, I linked all of the timestamps down below. So just be sure to check that out. And I did post all of these videos on my TikTok and there's a 60 second time limit. So if there's any point where you think it's being rushed or a little bit unclear, just comment all your questions below and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, let's get started. So this is a really weird looking shape and it's asking for the area of this piece right here. Okay, and it gives us that the arcs have a radius of three. So that just basically means that if you would draw a circle, that this radius right here is equal to three. And if you look, there are four of these, right? And this is just a quarter of a circle, which means that all of these pieces added up have to equal the area of the entire circle. So now what we have to do is find the area of this square. And if the radius is equal to three, that means that this piece to here is also three, which means the side length is six, and the area is just six times six, which is 36. So you have to take this number and subtract it by the area of this circle. And the area of any circle is pi r squared, and the radius is three, so this is 36 minus pi times three squared, which is nine. So this is our answer. What percent of the square is shaded? So the first thing is to find the total number of squares. And since this is a six by six block, that means that there are 36 total squares in the entire figure. Okay, now we have to find the area of this triangle. And to find the area of any triangle, use the formula one half base times height. And in this case, the base is six and the height is six. So this is one half times six times six, which is just 18. Now we have to take this number and divide it by the total number of squares, which is 36. So 18 divided by 36 is 1 half, and 1 half is 50%. What is the area of the shaded region? So the first thing I'm going to do is find the area of this rectangle, which is just 5 times 10, which is 50. So now I'm going to find the area of each of these circles. So the area of any circle is pi r squared, and since r is 2, this is just pi times 2 squared, which is 4 pi. And the area of this guy is just pi 1 squared, which is just pi. And the area of both of these circles, you just add 4 pi and pi, which is 5 pi. So the area of the shaded region is just the area of the rectangle minus the area of these circles. So the area of the rectangle is 50. The area of the circles is 5 pi. So the answer is A. So before you circle D, this question is actually a lot easier than you might think. So it's asking for the area of the shaded region. So I'm going to start out just by finding this area here. And if I draw these lines out all the way, as you'll notice, this is just a quarter of the entire circle. So let's find the area of the circle. That's just pi times r squared. Since r is equal to 4, that's pi times 4 squared, which is equal to 16 pi. And since this is a quarter of a circle, we just have to divide this number by 4. So we get 4 pi. Okay. So how do we get the area of the shaded region here? Well, if you take the area of the entire square and you subtract the area that we just found, then you'll get this red area here. So the area of the square is just 4 squared, which is equal to 16. Then we have to subtract 4 pi, so C. So this problem looks impossible because they only give us the radius and they're asking for the area of the triangle. But if you remember the formula to find the area of any triangle, it's just 1 half base times height. And in this case, if you look closely, the distance from here to here is just the radius. So this is just the height of the triangle. And the distance from here to all the way down here is the diameter, which is just two times the radius. So this is equal to eight. So now if we rewrite this, we get one half times the base, which is eight, times the height, which is four. And one half times eight times four is equal to 16, which is C. What is the area of the shaded region? So the first thing you want to do is find the area of each of the individual shapes. So the area of the square is just the two side lengths multiplied by each other, which is just 36. And the area of a circle can be found using the formula pi r squared, where r is the radius. In this case, the radius is just half of this side length, so it's just 3. And so if we plug it in, so pi 3 squared is just 9 pi. So since it wants to know the area of the shaded region, that means that it wants the area of the square subtracted by the area of the circle. So in this case, the area of the square is 36. The area of the circle is 9 pi. So the answer is B. What fraction of the square is shaded? So the first thing I see is that this is a six by six square, which means that there are a total number of 36 squares in this entire thing. And to find the fraction that the square is shaded, we have to find the area of this triangle here. So the area of any triangle is one half base times the height. And the base in this case is just four. So this is one half times four times the height, which is six. So this can just be simplified to 12. And to find the area that it's shaded, you have to take 12 and divide it by the total number of squares, which is 36. And 12 over 36 is 1 over 3. So the answer is B.